Welcome to the all new Forest River Nobo 19.3. It is 24 feet, eight inches, roughly 4,600 pounds, can sleep up to seven, is a slideless bunkhouse. But I gotta tell you, every year the Nobo line really steps up the game. Their tagline is no excuses. And for this one, you have no excuses to get out and see pretty much wherever you wanna go uh, in creature comfort and some pretty sweet style. Thanks to the new addition this year of the Kurt Independent Trailer Suspension known as Beast Mode. Those gas shocks are gonna make you feel like you're just going over a smooth highway if you're going up a hill or running over potholes. But I'm seated right here in the front portion where you're gonna find the Murphy bed. Now, this is a comfortable jackknife sofa, but the thing I like about Murphy bed systems is if you don't need the space and you don't need, you know, hey, we're okay being able to adjust the space because there's no true separation of space, easy for me to say, when it comes to a Murphy bed system like this, there's no door, there's no curtain. So if you're okay getting all the activities done outside, you're just gonna be crashing at night. I got your coach, man, I found it. Because I love the applique because right away, they are telling you, get out and see everything that you can see. And the Murphy bed system's pretty easy to use. You'll notice you got storage underneath, even got suspension netting there to keep it in place. Slide it down. Got the spring arm here to lower the bed and the base down. And there we go. Privacy window with the pleated shade and the decorative wood balance there. You even got cubby storage on both sides as well as mushroom lights and this live edge wood, which we're gonna see in the kitchen of the dinette in just a minute. I'm, I'm a big fan of. Not only are the mushroom lights there, but you also have them here on the inside. This is lit and nice thanks to the little LED light around the edge. I gotta tell you, they're thinking about ways to make you enjoy that camping experience. From the dual USB charging ports and 110s on both sides to the nightstand space on both sides and all the features you're gonna get inside the Nobo. You have a 500 pound walkable roof on this beauty because you have the Rhino Rack system up there as well. You wanna throw the kayaks, the skis, whatever, you can do it on a coach that's 24 feet, eight inches. That's awesome. And over here on the off-camp side, got another window with the pleated shade and the wood balance, and your 32-inch connects TV on a swivel. The thing I like about this is you can turn it, you can angle it so you can see it from the dinette. I can turn it to see it from the bed, but it's also a 12-volt TV because you have a 190-watt solar panel on top of here, plus an inverter that will allow you to charge some of the outlets as well as run the lights and a 12-volt TV and a 12-volt fridge. Pretty sweet. Cable connection back there as well. Main entry here, and as soon as you walk in, you got the controls for your awning, your lights. You got a bottle opener and a keychain holder. And then the main portion, the kitchen and the dining area. Now, once again, slideless RV. But I'm not really cramped. On the off-camp side, look at the wood, that beautiful appearance of my live edge countertop that we have here. Rounded. I got the undermounted gunmetal style sink with the high rise faucet and sprayer. Got me a little window over here on the off camp side. Open that up, open the other one, get me a cross breeze. Got the cover there, that's also a drying rack. So you can have a little bit of prep space. Wrap that on down into the sink when you get done now. But it also gives you a little bit more cutting area and prep space, just like the tempered glass cover of your suburban two burner cooktop that's also in your kitchen. Very nice little feature. Underneath there is where you're gonna see spice rack with the little single bass string under there. Then a convection microwave, some more storage, and up above frosted glass inlay in my storage as well as my hood. Now on the campsite, I like to call this a couple's dinette, which bunk models, let me tell you, for active couples with dogs, bunk models are great for the dogs. So just keep that in mind. Right here, it would be a tight fit for four people to sit down, but you do have a dinette, reduces down into a sleeper, more of that live edge on the table here, large panoramic window, frosted glass inlay in my storages, and right there at the end, Dan, dig on that baby. Up top is going to be your heated holding tank controls. Yes, your 19.3 has a heated holding tank on it. Come on now. 
Chris, what else does it have? Well, we also have a kick plate for when you want to vacuum and sweep everything up, open it up, you got a kick plate. You also have the road vac system to help keep your Nobo 19.3 clean. Very nice feature. Norcold oversized fridge freezer combo right here. Mirrored face on your pantry storage there. Got my furnace there. You also have a roof mounted AC on this one, 13.5. That's really gonna do a good job of keeping this short RV cool because those things kick out the air. Those Coleman mocks do a great job. In the rear camp corner is where we're gonna find our double over double bunks. Now you do have privacy curtains here, so you do get a little bit of privacy there, but you got windows, dual USB charging, and down below is going to be a storage hatch. So not only can the kids come and go as they please, kind of sort of you lift up that campsite bunk and you got tremendous amounts of storage for whatever you want to put in there plus that one has a little curtain on it you even got slide storage underneath just really maximizing that space and giving you something that's multifunctional whether you need to use it as double sleeping space or additional storage space active couple with a dog are you with me now off camp corner is where you're going to find your bath so, got my porcelain bowl here with the foot flush. More of that beautiful wood live edge here on my counter, giving me not only good space, I got storage cubbies there, but I gotta tell you, this really brightens the coach up and makes it look good. Storage underneath, got my vanity sink, mirrored medicine cabinet, max vent fan. I'm a huge fan of these because they will move a foot of air per second out of the RV. That's a lot, especially when you're trying to cool it down. Got my solar charge controller right there to let me know where my batteries are charging. Step into my shower surround. I got the angle for my shower curtain, which gives me more room. Corner notches for my soaps, my showers. Right there is gonna be my shower nozzle. Plus, I got the skylight up there, giving me some more headroom. Uh, not bad space at all for a slideless RV with bunks opposite the bathroom. Pretty sweet. Easy to clean, slip resistant upgraded vinyl flooring. I got contrasting colors in the cushions, but yet I got a trailer that's got independent suspension and gas shocks on it with rugged off-wheel tires on torsion axles. Okay, I'm taking the upgraded New York loft apartment off-road. Speaking of off-road, you're gonna be outside. So let's check the features you got on the outside. Let's go. Here we are on the outside of the all-new Forest River Nobo 19.3. 24 feet, 8 inches, roughly 4,600 pounds. Dry, can sleep up to 7. Let's start right up front. You got powered tongue jack with extremely bright LED light. You got a 20-pound LP tank behind you. I would upgrade this to two 20 pounds if you can, but you do have your battery disconnect there as well. Now on top, you got the Rhino Flex storage system, plus you got a 190-watt solar panel. Over on the campsite is where you're gonna find beautiful fiberglass with an upgraded sheen. Plus, with their construction, you got the aluminum superstructure in there, foam core insulation, and Asdell sidewalls. Asdell is a pretty sweet graphite composite that doesn't absorb moisture and also gives you no off-gassing. Right through here is gonna be your pass-through storage. Right there is the Rhino rack that I was talking about. Plus, you got the camp griddle that comes along with your 19.3. Anti-slam luggage doors as well. Tempered glass, which I am a huge fan of. Solid step over steps leading into the main entry point. Spray port, kind of like an external shower, as well as the LP Quick Connect, and I like how that's kind of a pullout system. But really, to me, the greatest addition for what they did for 23 is the Beast Mode package. The Kurt Independent Suspension, which is on every single wheel under there, torsion axles, gas struts, that's gonna make it feel like you're going on a highway, even though you might be going off-road. Add that to the fact that we also have tire pressure monitoring and galvanized wheel well, great option. Slide spot here for the griddle as well as an outside plate. Got the little escape hatch here for the bunks. And extra large awning with the LED light strip as well as an extra bright floodlight on there as well. Four by four sewer hose storage on the rear, spare tire mounted, backup camera and ladder mounted. So if you need to get up there and load the kayaks or do whatever you need to do on that 500 pound walkable roof, you got the option to do it. So 24 feet, eight inches, roughly 4,600 pounds dry, can sleep up to seven. Heavy duty marine grade roof, rhino rack system, 
perch suspension system on the wheels, independent with gas struts, that alone would make me say, okay, I think I could take this home, but I could also take it off the road, which is what you're probably gonna do if you get the Nobo. And if that's what you're looking for, it checks all the boxes. The best part about the Nobo 19.3 is you can pick it up today at your local Camping World or just check it out at CampingWorld.com. Mm -hmm.